I'm Jens Schödahl, head of sales for the dental segment uh, at Direct Conversion. I am here with two of my dear colleagues, Thomas Panzer, who's head of product management and IPR, and Matthias Uresh, who's one of our engineers. Uh, we're here to talk a little bit about how we are dedicated to making sure we're creating world-leading x-ray detectors for our customers. And this is a really good opportunity because IDS is coming up. And we're going to bring you some of the latest news of the technology and products that we're going to bring to this um, to the world. So, what is our news, Thomas? What are we bringing for the first time ever? We are, we are bringing photon counting into dental imaging. So, uh, we have a product called DC Bella, which is a panoramic sensor available right now. But in addition to this, we have other developments uh, might be even more exciting. We have a CEF sensor concept and we have a CBCT detector on the prototype state. Really interesting. Matthias, a question to you then. We are making a big splash around bringing photon counting into dental. Why do you believe photon counting is the future, Matthias? I think uh, photon counting detectors are the future because um, um, what we can do is we can actually measure um, information on each detected x-ray photon and um, in this particular case we can actually look at uh, uh, energy and uh, that introduces us to uh, dual energy and um, so we are able to uh, look at each photon and uh, look um, if uh, x-ray photon has a higher or a low energy uh, information. So uh, it is a, um, an improvement as I, as I see it co uh, compared to other uh, detectors which are measuring on the statistical area, yes. Yeah, so basically you're saying we have more information and we can differentiate between information. But Thomas, I mean, you have some insight and in-depth knowledge about this. Why is this interesting for dentists? So basically the dual energy technology, what we have in the DC Vela family, allows us to do like draw images of two types or three types. We get a low energy image, we have a high energy image, and we have obviously the total energy image, which is uh, comparable to a standard panoramic. The magic comes there that once this is combined with sophisticated mathematics and algorithms, you can actually convert these energy domain images or spectral images into tissue images. So what we can do, we can generate images that only has the bone content or only has the soft tissue content. So in terms of bone content, what you see, what is the improvement is that there's less shadows from the soft tissue, but on the soft tissue side, it's something I, I don't believe anyone has seen before. So and soft tissue image of the jaw, of the, the gum, of the, uh, all the organs there, that offers uh, uncharted territory. So basically, we're bringing technology into the dental space, which could mean that we have additional applications, uh, improved um, uh, imaging. And one of the things that you just mentioned there is the differentiation between materials. Does this have anything in any improvements that we can do uh, with artifacts, for example, compared to other technologies? Yeah, um, uh, besides that, we can uh, look at different tissues. Uh, one can uh, also um, look into, uh, in this case, uh, foreign materials, uh, so um, uh, fillings, um, and um, maybe other things that can disturb the images. So um, it can be a, an improvement uh, to, uh, to the user. Um, to the dentist uh, to more clarify to see what uh, the actual uh, con uh, information is. And I think that's super interesting because in 2019 in IDS, we did actually a, uh, we did a poll and then uh, sort of deep interviews with a number of 
stakeholders within the dentistry, uh, anything from dentists to OEM R&D people who was super excited. And the feedback that we got from them created a list for us of potential applications that we could actually do with our technology. So this is, uh, this is really interesting um, because now we're coming back with the actual product and it's there. Uh, we have it available for evaluation, but we've done something more. Uh, I'd like you guys to explain a little bit what we have done, because when bringing some new technology to a field where the people and the industry is not used to working with it, you have to also provide some tools. And we have generated a tool called, that we call the MSAT. Talk about it. What is it and why do we have it? The main purpose of the tool is really to lower the barrier for, for using the dual energy technology. So the tool provides uh, uh, the methods to convert these energy images into the soft tissue image, into the bone image, everything with a single UI. That in order to experiment this, you don't need to develop your own algorithms, fine tune them, fix the bugs, everything available uh, right now and shipping with the product. And also the nice thing is, um... Yeah, this is actually not disturbing uh, a standard X-ray image. It is actually an additional, uh, an information addition to the image. So the standard image is still um, uh, acquired, um, while we're also um, acquiring more information about the photons. And that um, gives us the extra information to actually do these calculations. Yeah, that is a that... very, very good and uh, important point is that we can do dual energy with the existing hardware. We don't need to have multiple detectors, multiple X-ray sources, KVP switching, same hardware and at no additional patient dose, for example. So it comes as a, a free add-on in terms of imaging performance and experience. Yeah, and as you mentioned, it doesn't take longer, which I believe is key because dentists are, I mean, Time is money, and also you mentioned something important. We don't need to increase the dose, we can actually lower it. I think that's also super important uh, without losing any sensitivity or specificity. So, okay, so we're doing all, we have the product, we have the tools to use the product and evaluate the product. Uh, we're going to IDS, and this is a special year for us. In 2021, it's the first year where direct conversion is now being part of Barracks Imaging. And that's going to be really easy to notice because now we are not only a niche company. Um, you've been there since the beginning of the dental, um, when we entered the dental industry, Thomas, and we've delivered more than 20,000 detectors to the dental industry to date since it all started. And what if someone would look up IAT or direct conversion in the dental industry, I would say we've been a thought leading company innovator in that, in that field for a very long time. But what's your view on it? How come that we have been bringing good stuff to this industry that actually made a change? I think the main, main reason is there that uh, we chose to travel on an avenue that was uncharted. So. Mm. We had to do something differently and we wanted to have a fresh set of brains. And now we are trying to revive, revive ourselves again. So we were part of the digital revolution. When we started shipping detectors, film was still more than 50% of all the systems. Now we hopefully are leading the next step that to, to bring the spectral imaging into dentistry, following the footsteps of, of the people, of the hardworking engineers and then designers we have in the company. Yeah, and Matthias, uh, what's your view now? So we're part of Arex and we have an extended portfolio, but we also have additional resources. And where do you think we're going next as innovators? I think uh, uh, we will still uh, uh, work on uh, X-ray photon counting detectors. Um, also focusing more on uh, energy emitting. Um, um, I think uh, what uh, Varys can uh, give us is more knowledge in um, uh, image uh, acquisitions, um, let's say image treatment, image processing, uh, also the tools that they have developed for a long time. Uh, so I think uh, it is actually a good uh, opportunity here. Yeah, and 
I think it's also important to notice that photon counting is is used in various industries. I mean, we do anything from uh, non-destructive testing and food inspection, electronics inspection, but we're also delivering photon counting products to the medical field. And they have more or less started this journey into bringing photon counting into their life. Uh, and now it's a dental industry that we're bringing it into. Do you see any, from your perspective, do you see any challenges in this field? Yes, one, one big challenge is that um, since the digital revolution has been going on for so long, uh, the competition has like stagnated. <laughs> Everyone is developing very similar products, slightly better, slightly less expensive, but uh, not many people have had the courage to do something new. And in order to do something new, we as a detector company, we need to work with an OEM who can build the system and we can really co-innovate and uh, collaborate in, in bringing this new, new technology into market where it has clearly benefits, features that the existing technology doesn't have. Yeah, and I think you make an important point there because I mean, being a thought leading company, of course, we need to work with others. We can't change the industry ourselves. We can provide the tools that we know but taking steps in a direction where no one else is going i mean that that takes courage and that's also why we had talented people like you guys in our company to bring those innovations to the market so thanks for being here with me and uh we're look, look really look forward to ideas and talking to our customers and finding co-innovators that can actually change the industry Matthias, any, anything you want to add to this that you think is important to know about photon counting or uh, something you're super excited about? <laughs> there are so much to, uh, <laughs> to tell. Uh, I don't think we have time for that in this video. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, I appreciate to be here in this video. And, uh, and it's going to be quite fun uh, also for the next conferences and also uh, in terms of what we are going to do in research and development. Yeah. How about you, Thomas? Anything that you want to add that you're super excited about? Or Yeah, one thing I'd like to emphasize is that being a part of Varex, we have the global presence now. So not only we have salespeople, but we have a, a skilled uh, field engineers supporting locally all the integration effort needed to integrate this new technology. So that's something that should not be underestimated. Yeah, that's true. And from my side, uh, after a year and a half in this pandemic, without being able to travel and meeting uh, co-innovators and customers, I'm super excited to go to IDS. And if you're an OEM, uh, if you're in an OEM and you want to get in contact with us, follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn. There should be a link somewhere below or up there. Uh, not sure. You can also reach out directly to, to our company. You can find us on directconversion.com. Um, you can also find us on uh, barracksimaging.com. Um, just search for photon counting and you'll make your way. So we're looking forward to seeing you all guys at IDS. And Thomas Matthias, can't thank you enough for being here. Uh, it's a great chat and uh, see you soon. Yeah, thank you, Jens. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you, Thomas. Bye-bye.